Hi guys and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday. That means we are using Hermit Yokai. So yeah, so this deck is still on the air. It's I'd say it's not the best deck, but it it does fine. It really does. Um, I totally don't mind it. So uh, of course, there's not much I can do with this hand right now because of course you know these Hermit Yokai's in the normal summon they go back to my hand anyway. So that's kind of dumb, but yeah. You know what? At least I got creature stops, so I can go ahead. If he summons a nice juicy monster, I can just go ahead and be like, give me your nice juicy monster for this token that I'm gonna get. Other one purgatory is really good. Like really, really good. Alright, you're just gonna blind space. Cool. Oh, it's UAs. Alright. I finally get to see this deck. I have not got to see this deck in like forever, so it should be interesting. Alright, so you know some good filter. What does Stadium do? Wow, that is a good ass field spell. And you return to your hand, summon Slugger. And turn it to your hand for perfect A. So once you turn to any effect on a card head that you can get turn. Ooh, that's good. I said this should be interesting. All right, which one are you? Okay. So I'm gonna summon Kamitachi. I can't activate my my card, can I? Kamamitachi, return perfect gates to the hand. No, oh, Battle Guard Howling. Ouch. Didn't see that coming. Absolutely didn't see that coming. Well, that sucks. And I won't have another Hermit Yokai monster doing anything. Yep, I'm definitely gonna lose this duel. Did not see that coming. That hurt. I'm taking a lot of damage. You guys are interesting, especially with their field spell. They just keep going and going and going. And it's like, oh, summon search. Summon, no. It's just like, ooh. It's really good. It's not even once per turn. No, oh, God. He's going to jump the shit out of me with goalkeepers, too. Holy shit. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He's gonna pelt me with fucking soccer balls. Ah, he is just going to town. Hello? Like, he is just exchanging them. That's the most definitely game. Like, look at that, look at that, look at that. Disgusting. He, he whooped my ass. Oh, my god. Look at that. Wow. It's amazing. And what? Hello? Uh, okay, whatever. We'll go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Alright guys. We're back. So uh, I gotta tell you guys a lot about a lot of things, don't I? I have to tell you guys about uh my Monday and my Tuesday. So I guess we'll go ahead and get it started. So uh is this the one that returns something to the hand or no? No, this is the one that can attack directly, but you don't have to damage. I need to get, I need to learn Kamami Tachi, Kamami Tachi, and all of them. I need to learn them. Alright, so. I'm gonna go ahead and activate you. Yes. Uh, give me Kamami Tachi. Who's on the special summons? Who's on the special summons? Do any of them special summon, or are they all normal summon? I thought I could have sworn one of them special summon, but I guess they, I guess they changed it. Then I face it, this card was normal summon and turn to the hand. Then I face it, this card was normal summon and turn to the hand. Then I face it, this card was normal summon and turn to the hand. And they all say, resolves normal summon, normal summon. Well, they must have changed one, because I could have swore I remember one of them saying, uh, uh, something different. Alright, so it's you, right? Face up monster my opponent controls. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright. Well, then I will go. I'll go Kamani Tachi. Yes. 
Kamami Tachi summon Kamami Tachi. Yeah, sure. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. You, you don't have an effect, of course, which is okay. Alright, so let's try to attack his monster. Oh, damn. Alright. Yeah, sure. I'll attack directly on. Give me my counter trap card, so good. Alright, wow. Did not see Defender. Not even remotely. Set two. Uh, my turn. Everybody, come back. Uh, summon, yeah, summon him. Can you go back and you go back? That defended though, look at that big old juicy booty. So, during my standby phase, I draw him to show cards. So he's probably going to exceed. That would be the smartest thing to do. Take it and summon another level 4 and exceed with it, so I don't get my draw. Fine card, you know, as long as you use Defender wisely. That nice 27D, and then immediately XC into it, you know. Back when this card first came out and it wasn't as easy to XC, you know, it was a little bit dangerous. So XC didn't exist when this card first came out, so, you know. But now since XC is out, that card's a level 4, you just set on it, they attack it. Oh, 27D block you, you know. Nice juicy booty, the next turn just go summon a level 4, XC. Wow, you're actually going to allow me to draw. You're actually going to allow me to draw. So bad. Draw. So bad. <laughs> like, why would you do that? To make you cry. And why would you do that? To make me laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I can spin back his monster with you. Uh, if you control another Hermione, okay. Okay. Alright, then I will just jump the living hell out of you, so I'm gonna go Kamani Tachi. No, this is yeah, Kamani Tachi. Kamami Tachi. Kam Kamani Tachi again. Kamatachi. Activate Kamami Tachi, spin that back to your hand. And poke the living fuck out of you. Ugh. Just the living fuck. Alright, this shell spell's good. I thought it wasn't good, but it's good. You need it. <laughs> no. Being able to just summon one of your hermit yokai and keep it on the field like that. No. Yeah. Because I love getting searchable counter trap. At least our effect is only once per turn. Yeah. Think about if it wasn't. Think about if you could just keep on attacking and, and it'd be like in front of these all over again, so. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> See, that cooperates, it's okay. But uh, that UA guy, he was just kicking football, soccer balls, throwing basketballs at my ass. I'm like, damn, alright. Damn, I still haven't talked. You know what? We might have to do a whole duel and talk at the end. Alright, we're back. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, let me actually talk this time. Alright, I'm gonna go first. Hmm. He has not the best. I'll take it slow. I'll see what he's doing first before I commit to anything. Oh, John Him's not that bad. Because I can just summon him and then he's like a catastrophe. Oh, it's Telenites. Alright, so Deneb search for Altair. It's fine. You get an attack? I'm gonna deprison the shit out of you. Just so you won't have a Deneb. Cause I'm smart like that. <laughs> like, how about no? But you don't have a Deneb. In the graveyard. I mean, that sounds totally chill to me. Oh yeah. Overflowing Purgatory. Alright. Go ahead and summon my Catastrophe monster. Response? I knew you had Bottomless. I knew you had it. I was just like, he has Bottomless, it's fine. I know he has it. 
Oh, Rhoda again. All right. Just when I thought I got rid of that Deneb. Oh, well. Vega. Vega summon. Deneb. All right, so you have another one. Now it's fun to know that you had another one. Hmm. This might be a difficult one. It's some of my monster and I can attack over the frickin' Vega. Leave the Deneb so he doesn't get into no sort, but then he'll just go Altair or some Vega and then make a Delta Row, so. You know, if you know Delta Row is the only thing on the field, I can always summon another token and creature swap it. Because you know, he's probably going to kill my. this guy with it. So, let's go ahead and try to summon another one. Safe zone, too? Alright, well, I mean, it really didn't matter to the play. But same stone, too. Alright. Hmm. I haven't seen that card in a cool minute. Save some? Oh, Sham? Yeah, I exceed all these three until Deltaros. Alright. No! Triv. Alright, that's fine. Please don't take my creature slot. Alright, you can have that. Triv, alright. Can Stellar Knight Diamond? I thought you had to do that in main phase too. Okay, during your main phase too, you can also... Okay, so... The game kind of cheated me. Because you should only be able to do that in main phase too. But okay. Alright. Seemed kind of cheating to me, but... Why'd I do that? That was dumb. I forgot you had to tribute him. That was dumb. That was really dumb. I mean, it was special summoned, wasn't it? No, it was normal summoned, wasn't it? It was normal summoned. So this guy's back the shit out of me. Saw that coming. All right, that's game. You got it. I said this guy's back the shit out of me. You got it. Diamond cheated, apparently, because you should only be able to put that on main phase 2, but he put it on main phase 1 and hit me with it, so... I don't know, maybe they need to fix him. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get another fuel. Be right back. Alright, this is the last duel. Last duel. No matter what happens in the duel, it's the last duel. So I can go ahead and focus on talking. I think that's the one problem that I'm having with Hermit Yokai's right now, since they all normal summon each other. I can never keep a Hermit Yokai on the field to even use Horn of the Phantom Beast correctly. Because it's just going to return back to my hand. So, yeah, that's that's been sucking lately. So, if I could just figure that out. If I could, like, special summon them. Then in the normal summon, they return back to my hand. So I just go, okay, normal summon. Turn my face back to my hand, and then I have nothing. So. Wow, that sucks. I would like both of them, to tell you the truth. Am I going up against Dark Worlds? Or just something sacky? There's not a lot of decks that use Dark World dealings. Maybe Fables. There's not a lot of decks that use Dark World dealings. Okay. Oh. I really would like Mats Mata, but I have no way of even summoning Mata, so. While Kamani Tachi, I can at least summon Poke for 18, so it's not too terrible. Archfiend Eater. Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. Nefari? 
All right, doesn't seem like this guy's doing anything too, anything too interesting, so let me go ahead and talk. So, uh, Monday, of course, I have my education class, and I have women's literature. So, my education class, we're still doing presentations, and uh, the previous class, we finished two and a half. Two and a half being that one student at, what is this, Art, uh, Infernities? One student actually had to get his presentation cut in half because uh, the teacher was talking and the presentations were going on too long, so we literally had to, like, stop. This card, when it's destroyed, instead of going, you can target one insurance in your credit card, so it's still going to target. It cannot attack this turn. Okay. I might actually have to. You control RTP monster, you can set on this card, but it can't attack this turn. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna summon commander to destroy itself? Hello? Why? Cause, so you want cavalry to summon it back for you? No, oh, that's fine. I'll take the 19. You can have that, Daddy. What I'm mad at? Like hello? I mean, no goddamn sense. Why would you just kill itself? You really want that, don't you? And then you fucking blind space. Now you blind space? Oh my god, this guy's bad. This guy's really bad. No, that's fine. Oh, great swap. You don't play anything in response? I said you burned up a ton of resources. Skill drain. Uh, no. This <laughs> is shit. Here, take my, uh, come on, Itachi, and I'll take your cavalry. Cool story? I think that's fair. I'm chill. I'm just gonna end my turn. Give my come on, Itachi back. Thank you. <laughs> like, no, no, thank you. Give it back. Give it back. <laughs> Like using spirits, like just summon my spirit, creature swap it, get my spirit back. Now you're down on resources! Yay, you down on resources! Tour guide, that's fine. Oh, Skarm. Ah, that's fine. Skarm is so good. Skarm is what. Sangan wish he was to be able to grab another Sangan. Like, if you're running Tour Gods, then you're running Skarm. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's, it's just that fucking good. <laughs> like, what were they thinking with Skarm? They weren't. They weren't. They were not thinking at all with Skarm. <laughs> oh, my God. They weren't thinking. They were really weren't thinking with all the Barney Mists. They just thought they were making a cute little deck. And they ended up making some really powerful shit. So. Hope they have fun with it. So you're going to exceed those two or what? Yeah, so literally, there are 30 students in the class. 30 students. No, 30 students. No, I'd say 26. 26, yes. Okay. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can touch on the tutorial, then target one page of the type of monster you control. Them. Okay. That was anticlimactic as fuck. Should I? Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Should be a monster. Hermatasud Seran Saran. Oh my god, that name. <laughs> Who do I want to summon? I uh, guess I'll summon you. You? No. I'd rather get a Hermit Yokai that stays on the field, but... Yeah. You. 
because I have another Hermit Yokai on the field. Spin you. Not spin you. Bounce you. My bad. Not spin, bounce. There's a difference. <laughs> if I'm going to use these fucking uh, Yu-Gi-Oh vernaculars, I better use them correctly. Bounce. Bounce is back to hand, or extra deck. Spin is, well, in this case, it, I, if the monster was an extra deck monster, it would have went back to his hand. Bounce is back to deck. Bounce is what, like, Virgil and, and, uh, and, uh, Tiramisu do. They, they spin you back to the deck. Bounce, that's what, like, Compulse and Pleiades do. Alright, come back to my hand. You did a fine job. And you left me a Hermit Yokai in the field. Sure, you gonna get another tour guide? Of course you are. Just tour guide's gone. 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 Like, seriously, like, what the fuck were they thinking? They weren't. They weren't. <laughs> they should hit tour guide. I should just hit burning the best in general, actually. Tour guide? Sure. Do we got summon Skarm? Yes, you are. Tour guide Skarm. Tour guide Skarm. Tour guide Skarm. Tour guide Skarm. That's all you fucking can do. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It's stupid. It's really stupid. It's like one of the dumbest things that are like they should hit tour guide again. Like, Burning Abyss is tour guide dot deck. So what are you gonna summon? Fucking Gaijin? I'm a compulsive. Like, you can go away. <laughs> I don't mind you not being on the field anymore. Skarm, alright. Search a tour guide? No. You probably have a tour guide, so you just don't want to search it. Huh? Uh, yeah, I have the stool. It's a game right here. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. I got it right here. Done. All right, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Everybody, don't leave. Don't leave. Stay with me. Let me talk. All right, so, yeah. There's 20... 20... I need 25 papers. Not including myself, but one for two. Okay, there's 25 students. 25 students. He set aside three days for presentations. Three for his schedule. Three. On the first day, we did two and a half. On the second day, we did two and a half, being Monday. Wednesday, today. You got 20 more students. <laughs> it's not possible. It's not fucking possible. Because the people who were presenting, their presentations were great, you know. They're going to be way better than my fucking shitty presentation. But the problem is, is that they took too long. They took way too long and long. The presentation was supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes. These guys are spending like a half an hour. Half the fucking hour. So five. Five out of, 20, five out of 25. One fifth of the class has done their presentation. That means four fifths of the remaining class have to do their presentations Wednesday. That's not possible. It's not possible. No. Therefore, I'm going to talk about that soon. And the reason for this title of this fucking video. Anyway. So yeah, we just watch more people's presentations. Like I said, much better than my shitty presentation. Because I haven't even done mine yet, nor is it good. But yeah, it's boring. My topic is boring. I've went over this plenty of times, but it's fucking just ass boring. Like, why did I get such a boring topic? I didn't choose my topic. My teacher selected for me, and God, it's just... It's just Snoresville. It really is. <laughs> I know, I'm going to have to make my PowerPoint nice and spectacular and shiny just to even get my point across, because right now it's boring. Anyway, uh, women's literature, uh, we started watching this movie, it's called The Cell, it's pretty much one reason why, it's about a lady who can go in people's dreams, so, she's trying to go into the dreams of this uh, serial killer, to, you know, find out where he hid this lady, and it's a really creepy, creepy movie, the only reason why we're watching it is because, uh, you know, feminine literature, so it's the feminine archetype, so we're watching her progress from the mother to the priestess, and, you know, seeing how that will be, so, uh, we were just, we just spent our class watching, you know, the first half of the movie, and, um, you know, that's chill, you know, I totally don't mind, we watch a lot of movies in my class, that class is pretty easy, you know, he's like, oh, you're gonna watch these two movies, and you're gonna get ready to write your fourth essay, like, ooh, okay, fourth essay, so, of course, art, 
third essay was due today, Wednesday, but I decided to go ahead and turn it in Monday to you know, the quicker. I turned it in the quicker you could grade it. I was holding on to it for forever. You know, I finished that last Wednesday. Before last Wednesday, actually. So I had that thing done, like, you know, two weeks ago, but, yeah. You know, well, um, no, past a week ago. More than a week ago, not as much as two weeks ago, but I had it done. But yet, yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, he's like, when he said it, he gave us he gave us another week, but I was already done, so I was just like, fuck it, you know. The quicker I turn in, the quicker I can get it graded, so, yeah, yeah. I think I, did, I think I did a fairly good job on it, so yeah. Let me go ahead and get that grade. So yeah, that that was pretty much that was a, that was my uh, that was my Monday, you know, uh, condensed because I did more on Monday. I uh, started working on that extra credit for the class to curve my grade. So I did two out of the thirty-two uh, lessons. So that's two points extra credit. You know, I could just slap that two points extra credit on any assignment, or just slap it on in, in general and just boost my grade. So. Pretty much, let's see. There's one assignment I got a three on, so that'll boost out to four. And on my midterms, I got a three, so that'll boost it up to four. So it's like I got like 100% on my midterm. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep on doing extra credit and then just boost my grade up to immense proportions. And you know, even if my assignments are all half assed, especially my project, yeah. Alright, so quickly, Tuesday, I have Women's Studies and I have uh, Calculus. Women's Studies, uh, what are we doing in fucking women's studies? We are going over... I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't remember. It was so boring. That I don't remember. I was falling asleep. You know. Uh, watching Kirby Girl sitting next to Kirby Girl. She's just weird. <laughs> she was sitting there playing with her face. Like, she was like pulling her cheek and pushing her nose. I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, I'm bored. I'm like, so you play with your face? Like, okay. And she looked at a notebook and she started like doing you know, one of those you know, bubbly names where you know you write someone's name and like the bubbly like and she wants some girl's name and I'm like, who the hell is she? And she was like, Oh, that's one of my coworkers, I have a crush on her and like I didn't even know you went that way. I mean that's hot, you know, just, you know. There's nothing wrong with being a lesbian. I mean you know and you know <laughs> Yeah. You like the same things that I like. You just don't like I I got, but she's not because she has a boyfriend to me that she's I guess she's bi. I mean, I don't care. I'm not going to judge, but, you know, you know, she's pretty hot, you know. I would like to see this co-worker. I would like to see them, too. You know, I could go with that anyway. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> so, uh, uh, class ended. Uh, walked through the class. We were just, you know, just talking. Uh, and we didn't, I don't think she even brought a BS, so I didn't get to kick her butt and smash. No, was she ready? Because I was just going to kick her butt and smash, but, yeah. Anyway, went to calculus class. Calculus class, we're doing series! Yay, series. I hate series so much. Like, series is, like, literally my most hated part of Calculus 2. I hate series. There's just so many different formulas. It's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, uh, direct composition and, and limit composition and, and, uh, root and, uh, and ratio and, you know, and geometric and telescopic and there's so many freaking things you gotta fucking memorize, you know? It's just like, oh my god, I hate series so much. Series are, just, oh, just ass, just ass, complete, just ass. Hate series. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna change the title, and I'm not gonna talk about what it's gonna talk about because this video is already too long. So you know what? I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow. And by leave it for tomorrow, it's not tagging with Ciago. Yes, I don't have to wake up at the fucking three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I can actually sleep until five before I have to leave. Because of course Ciago has moved to, of course. Uh, Mondays with line it with uh, you know double video with Lunar, which means on Sunday I can just record. And Sundays, you know, besides watching Dragon Ball Z League, I ain't doing much. So, yes. So, you well, know, I can just you know, just chill with it. So, of course, since we're moving to Tango, we are actually um, taking off Pendulum Cash Dragons. The deck was fine, uh, but it's time to go. I want to put on Burning Abyss. So we are. So, because and also by the rules of Daily Duels slash Blind Duel, that's my YouTube channel. The top meta decks always have to be somewhere. So Shadows are with you, Bell. Tell Knights are with me. And Burning Abyss, I got it. They're not on they got to be on Daily Duel. So uh, you know, until they get hit or until I get sick of them, they're going to be on here. So yeah, so you get double Daily Duel spawn. You get the deck profile for Pendulum Chaos Dragons. And you get the first episode of Burning Abyss, where I will finish complaining about what I want to complain about. Then I get to complain about this today. And I'll be talking about my Wednesday, which will, of course, involve me complaining about what I want to complain about. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Like I said, Hermione Kyra, okay. Do I see them just being, you know, the top tier deck, the tits? 
Hell no, because they're not that good. But, you know, they can do some things. They can win a couple duels, so, yeah. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Double Daily Duels. Thanks for watching.